Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me. Today, I will be going over the 66200 soft panel. I currently do not have a unit connected, so we may see some errors due to this. In the main screen of the soft panel, you can see we have an about button, which will tell you the soft panel version you are currently running. We can also see an exit button, which if pressed, will exit the soft panel. We have two tabs, the USB and Ethernet tab. In these tabs, you will find the settings for your communication interface, and it will connect after hitting the scan device. I get a key pro error because I currently do not have a key connected to my computer. But you can see that we can still enter the soft panel in demo mode. Once we have the communication set up, we can see the main measurement page. We have the settings for four different displays. We can view the voltage, current, power, and power factor of one channel, or change our settings so that we can view different channels, and at the same time, we can view any measurement that we'd like to observe. On the right, we have a graphical display for the channel and measurement selected. So we can switch it to channel two and the different measurement that we'd like to observe graphically on this display. We also have the general tab where we can change the settings of the power meter. Here, we can change the range of the voltage range, the current range, and the shunt current range for the specified channel. We can also set the inrush trigger level with the appropriate delay and the inrush current measurement time. We can also set the energy measurement mode and time for the power meter. Once we have the measurement parameters of inrush current and energy set, we can select the mode for measuring inrush current or energy. To start the measurement, simply click on the trigger on button and to stop the measurement, click on the trigger off. The wiring options set the wiring mode of the power meter. You can click on the details button to get a description of the wiring modes. Under system configuration, we have additional settings. Under measure, we can set the sampling method for the power meter. We can set the digital filter, the efficiency mode. Actually, if we click on the detail button, it gives us a description window. We can also set the integration time required. We can set the CT mode and its ratio. We can set the external shunt mode and its resistance, and we can set the high voltage mode. We can do this for each channel. In system configuration one, we can set the total harmonic distortion settings. And in system configuration two, we can clear a protection when it has occurred. Under GO and GO settings, we can input a specification range to judge the DUT as pass or fail for the selected channel. To enable the G GO slash NG, go to the trigger page and select the trigger on. To end it, you would hit the trigger off button. Under the IEC 62301 test panel, the power meter will test the DUT to see if it complies with the IEC 62301 standard. Under the harmonic test panel, the power meter will measure the harmonic of voltage and current for the selected channel. Under the recording test panel, you can set the measurements that you wish to record and the file path for which you wish the file to be created and saved. In the save as panel, you can save the settings so that in the future, you can simply recall the settings instead of having to reset everything. This is good for when you are testing different DUTs with varying requirements. 
Lastly, this display at the bottom will let you graphically view the voltage and current for all channels or the channels selected. If you have additional questions, feel free to contact our sales team at sales at chromausa.com. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.